Akron Film and Pixel goes back to 2002 um, in various incarnations. It used to be a student organization at the University of Akron. Um, as a, it was used to be called the Akron Independent Film and Video Festival. We gradually shortened the name and then lengthened the name, and we've ended up at Akron Film and Pixel. Um, we became a incorporated nonprofit uh, in 2007, and on our first festival downtown in 2008. Yeah, so Akron Film and Pixel Night is kind of the sort of the evolution, I guess, if you will, the, the condensing of the film festivals. We showed a group of local short films at the Akron Art Museum. Uh, which we called Akron Film and Pixel Night, and then we took it over here to the Summit Art Space where we are right now uh, for a new media exhibit um, that Dr. Yunsu Kang and her new media students at Folk Hall put on. It's kind of a celebration of local filmmakers, um, so it's all local filmmakers, uh, mostly shorts, although they will sometimes do a feature in there. We were recently awarded a grant from the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation. Um, we're very grateful to receive that. It's going to allow us to open a theater in downtown Akron um, next year, early 2014. When the opportunity to design the theater came around, I met with uh, another friend of mine, Maria Connor, who's an architect. Um, we kind of got together and teamed up. Um, so I've been working a lot with sort of the interior design of the space. We're interested in video games as culture and art, um, so more and more we uh, try to feature innovative games that um, perhaps are saying something or doing something that people are not used to in mainstream games. Because it is Akron Film and Pixel, so most of what we do is film related, but we do like to do a lot of kind of interactive media stuff. There's this company uh, founded by Palmer Lucky called um, Oculus VR, and their first product is the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. The technology is at a point, thanks to the gyroscopes and accelerometers that you find in mobile technology, that he was able to piece together a virtual reality headset for a low cost that they're going to be releasing as a consumer product next year. So we showed that off um, at Akron Film and Pixel Night here at the Summit Art Space. I think in 10 years, games will be accepted as culture. Right now there's a social stigma to it. I think that will be eroded um, in 10 years. So I'd love to see our city as a forerunner on that, um, that culture shift.